At 70 meters high and 60 meters wide, Buzlaja looks out across the Balkan Mountains. Completed in 1981, it was built as an iconic national monument to glorify the Communist Party. It's here because this was the birthplace of the Bulgarian Socialist Movement. It, this is powerful, powerful architecture. Following the collapse of the regime, the building was abandoned and later shut off to the public as it fell into disrepair. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, wow. Here it is. Me first? Welcome. It's seen better days, hasn't it? <laughs> Definitely. It costs the equivalent of $35 million in today's money to build Buzlaja. Since it was abandoned, the years, they haven't been kind. Dora, it's... It's incredible. There's some work to do, obviously, okay. but it's still very impressive. Look at these 50 square meters of mosaics right on top. There is the symbol of communism, actually, with, with hammer and sickle, and you can read in Cyrillic around it, workers from the world unite. So there's a mosaic on the ceiling, but the entire perimeter is also covered in mosaic. We have actually more than 1,000 square meters of mosaic inside Buzluja. Out of all of these, which one is your favorite? Over there is people defeating a dragon. And the dragon should represent the capitalism, monarchy, and the fascism, all the enemies of communism. And it's defeated by the communist people. When the monument opened, thousands came from all over the country to marvel at its beauty. There were sound and light shows and talks from well-known communist artists and poets. Time could be running out for Bustaja. If the roof collapses, the walls will go too and the building will be lost. There's now an urgent debate about what exactly to do with the money. Those who remember the repressions and the hardships of the communist era would like to see it destroyed. Others want to restore it to its former glory. But Dora is working on a proposal to preserve it as a museum and a place where Bulgarians can discuss the past. It was built to represent and glorify the communist idea. And we don't want to do this nowadays. We just want to know the history, we want to, to, to understand why it was built. But if we keep it intact um, and uh, let leave the symbols in their present condition, I think this will be much more powerful and meaning for the next generation to understand. Mike there in Bulgaria back in 2018. Since we filmed that, Dora's mission to save the building has had some success. In 2020, with the support of the Getty Foundation, she led an international team of experts on a project to protect those extraordinary mosaics around the interior. And this year, they're hoping to publish a conservation management plan outlining the steps required to open this iconic but controversial building to the public. To keep track of their progress, you can visit their website. The Travel Show, your essential guide wherever you're heading, every weekend on BBC World News.